So you've seen how Midjourney is just this amazing AI tool and you might be wondering how to make thumbnails with Midjourney. So maybe you can grab people's attention a lot quicker, you can get a higher click through rate and you can basically stand out from the crowd and make way better thumbnails than many others are doing. Maybe you will change your entire workflow on how you create thumbnails because we're using AI to do so. Now, let me show you how easy this is gonna be. Take a look at this YouTube channel here, Gravity Transformation. They have 5 million subscribers and they're getting 15 million views the last 30 days. If you're checking out their thumbnails, they're usually having these before and after, which is a great thumbnail template to begin with. Here before, he's fat. Here after, he has six pack abs. So I'm gonna create a thumbnail in the health niche. If you want me to make another thumbnail in another niche, comment down below and I might make it for you as well. So step number one is to go to Midjourney and create an account. If you don't have an account yet, just click on the sign in or join the beta. Now just open Midjourney in Discord and you just have to find one of the newbie rooms. Already we can see people making some crazy creations right here and you don't wanna share a room with them. So just click on the Midjourney bot, then just click on view profile, then click on send a message. This way you can talk directly to it and it won't pop up a bunch of other people writing their prompts here. Also, if you wanna try Midjourney for free, you can go to my Discord in the description down below, click on Midjourney free here, you can find the bot as well. And the video that we're gonna talk about today should be something like back pain. So how to fix back pain, how to fix posture. The next step is just write imagine on enter and I'm gonna write man age 30 with back pain side view, white background. So try a simple prompt to begin with and then experiment with even longer. Here, what I was imagining in my head was red back pain. So I'm gonna be even more specific and just click the up arrow on my keyboard and I get the exact same prompt again. I'm gonna go here man age 30 with red lower back pain, side view, white background. Here we can see that it's working really well. It created a great image here. The hands are a little bit messed up. What we're gonna do is click on V4 and then we will get different styles. I can show you that right away. I'm gonna copy this prompt here that we liked. If for example, I say in the style of anime or I can stay in style of Pixar, in style of acrylic, you will get different variations and you can see it as well. Let me try like in style of medical doctor or something. Style of doctor's office painting. You can see this being anime. This one in the style of Pixar, it didn't really work out that well, but look at that, that looks like pain. You can also see this one being the acrylic. You can also see the style of doctor's office painting. I'm personally a fan of this. However, this guy doesn't look like he's 30. He's more like 40 or even 50, but you can see how we can use this. So I'm going to click on U2, which will upscale the image so it can be better for our thumbnail, higher quality. Now we're going to have the after image. So I'm just going to write imagine and 30. And 30 with great posture, standing straight and tall, muscular, white background. I'm gonna click on the up arrow, then I'm gonna write side view. So now we have an issue with him being a little bit too young because they should look kind of the same age. So I'm gonna put him at age 40 now and I'm just gonna change the prompt a little bit. Apparently writing age 40 turned him into like 80, what the hell? <laughs> Dude, this ain't a 40 year old. What is this? Apparently mid journey doesn't know age. Okay, so let's do age 30 then. I'm also gonna try to do a variation of the third one. The main issue being that it's a gray background. I'm still not satisfied with the pictures. I'm just gonna keep making prompts until I'm happy with what I have in my mind. Just creating a bunch of variations and yeah, just playing around. So I'm gonna go back to the first image here. I'm gonna click on web. And then we can just click on this save with prompt. I will just save it in the bottom left. You can see his hand being a little bit wonky, but yeah, most people won't notice that. And apparently all of my prompts are turning way too young compared to the first image. 
I'm just gonna use this guy. It's kind of important that they kind of look the same. And I mean, they do kind of look the same. So I'm just gonna upscale number three here. This guy has great posture. And we're just gonna click on web once again. And we're just gonna click on save with prompt once again. Now that we have two images, we can go to the next step. Go to photopia.com, click on new project, and then select YouTube thumbnail. Just double click that and just drag the image directly in, right? Both of them. Then drag the background to the bottom. Now we want to have the man on the left and the other man on the right. Right away, you can see that this turns into a great thumbnail about posture or back pain. And we just need to add some quick text to make sure that you can capture attention even more. So I'm going to drag them over here. I actually like that the background is a little bit gray instead of being pure white. All I'm going to do is the type tool click right here and I'm going to say fix this. This is something I got inspiration from another thumbnail and I really think that it captures the attention specifically for people that have back pain and need it solved. It's a great eye catcher. So I'm just gonna move it a little bit back and forth. I'm gonna double click on fix this, on the characters, and I'm gonna make it red. Now I'm gonna just steal the color from over here. As you can see now, we have a red color just like that. The next step is I'm gonna go to google.com and search for red arrow PNG. I'm gonna find a bendy arrow, just click on images. I'm gonna click on tools, color, and transparent. That way we don't have to remove the background or anything like that. I'm looking for an arrow that is about a half circle that can point on his back. Something like this would do. Click on save image as. Back to Photopia again and I'm gonna, just gonna drag it right in. And make it a little bit smaller here and we're gonna drag it around. Now I just have to right click horizontal and just like that, and point it directly at his back. Just like that, we made an amazing looking thumbnail that I definitely believe would grab attention. It's a before you have pain, after you don't have pain anymore, and you got abs. I'm actually gonna move him around a little bit, and I'm gonna make the text a tiny bit bigger. You just have to be aware that there will be some sort of timestamp right here, like how long the video is. So we don't want to put anything in this lower right hand corner. So that's it. Click on file, click on export as PNG or JPEG will do. And we're just going to click on save. Just make sure it's not bigger than two megabytes, which is completely fine in JPEG. And that is our thumbnail. If you want me to make a separate thumbnail, comment down below. I want you to make a thumbnail about this and I'll make a follow-up video to this. If you wanna get even better at Mid Journey, click on this video right now, and I'ma go, peace.